wanted to hear a little bit about um, how long you've been playing and what part of your life music is right now. Sure. So um, I've been singing since I was like a baby, a tiny baby. There are pictures of me sitting on my kitchen floor and my dad playing guitar to me and I have my mouth wide open in my diaper and I am like singing on the top of my lungs. So that has always been a really important part of my life. Uh, I grew up singing gospel music with my family and it was a requirement. It was like a chore. I remember being in the car with my dad and he would force me to sing harmony. He was like, you've got to sing Amazing Grace with me one more time. Or the you, harmony. The harmony, yeah. He was forcing me to sing harmony very young and I hated it. Honestly, I was, I just hated it. But now I can harmonize to anything, so I'm really grateful for that after all. <laughs> Um, Why did you hate it at the time? Uh, it just felt like a chore, you know? When, you're, when your parents are making you do something, it's not fun anymore. And it wasn't until I was like 13 and I discovered Nirvana, uh, I realized that there was, there was more than just gospel music out there. And uh, I totally rebelled. I didn't want to sing in the family band anymore. I told my dad I never wanted to sing again. He was heartbroken. And um, I started teaching myself instruments so I could do my own thing and um, I started I started writing much later but I was doing a lot of like silly covers in my early teen years and then um, going from piano to guitar to some ukulele now I have a, like probably 14 instruments just for fun I find that the more that I have around me the more likely I am to pick one up yeah yeah, uh, yeah. so I didn't start writing my own songs until maybe I was 16 or 17 okay. yeah and how, where did you grow up? And, and now that you're playing music and doing gigs, where, where around the valley does that take you? Well, I grew up in the Berkshires in Florida, Massachusetts. And, uh, the colder Florida. The colder Florida. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, so I haven't moved really that far. Now I live in Shelburne. And uh, I haven't been playing out often or very much lately. I did here and there like a couple of years ago, but I wasn't really writing that much. I was in a rut. So I went on what I was calling a writing hiatus, which I was really hoping would be fruitful for about a year and a half. And then um, it wasn't until the past like six or eight months that I really started pumping out songs again, just all the time, sometimes once a week, sometimes once a day for a while. And so that has really like reinvigorated me and I feel like I'm unleashing like a new part of my songwriting identity cool. as of late. So I'm really excited to be here and to be sharing all these new songs with, with everyone, so, yeah. That's great. Can I ask what kicked you into, uh, we, a lot of people start with covers and just as they're learning to play, what, what, was it a specific topic or a, just a point in your life that kicked you into yeah. writing original songs? Yes, it totally was. I was applying for college my senior year of high school and it was the most stressful thing I had ever done in my entire life probably don't need to tell most of you that, most of you hear that. So I was really stressed out. Um, I felt like I was not doing what was right for me. I didn't feel like I needed to go to a private university and I was feeling overwhelmed and frustrated. And I remember I was like vacuuming or doing something like really ridiculous, just random mind numbing chore. And I started singing, which is like something I tend to do. Anyway, and I started singing something that was my own, and I was like, whoa, that's actually okay. <laughs> we should really like take note of that. And so it ended up being the first song I ever wrote, which is called California. I'm not gonna play it today. It's, it's much different than the stuff I write now, but it still holds a really special place in my heart. And basically it's about wishing I could uh, not go to school and just go live in California, because that's you know what every 17 year old person wants to do is thumb it to the west coast and yeah. live in California, so, yeah. Well, I don't know if we include this or not, but I, I've heard that song yeah. <laughs> by, from you around a bonfire, and it really did, it also made me want to move to California. Great! I don't usually think about wanting to move to California, <laughs> but that song really did make me want to move to California. Excellent. Yeah. I'm glad to hear it. Which was several years ago. Well, uh, one more question from me. Um, yeah. You have took a little bit of a writing hiatus. Yes. And then got back into it. Did the, what was, what brought you back into it that second time? Did the did it take writing about different topics, or was that just another point where it just sort of clicked into place? I mean, back into I think a lot of, I can speak for a lot of artists in that usually uh, parts of great, <laughs> times of great creativity are often sparked by tragedy. And um, it 
kind of happened, it was in like January, February. I just was suddenly in, my life was changing, everything was big, and I was faced with like a lot of intense stress and, you know, not, not like a huge tragedy by any means, but enough to get my gears going and make me yearn for a, a creative outlet again. And so songwriting was the one I picked. And from there, I was writing a lot of songs to help get through everything I was going through. But in the process, I started to feel more comfortable writing songs again and was writing songs about all kinds of fun stuff. Not, you know, not just horrible, sad emo songs, but, you know, songs about <laughs> smelling coffee and, you know, yeah. <laughs> stuff like that. So I'm really grateful for it. We're getting other people to smell the coffee. 